Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video you are going to learn how to replace the print head in your Datamax uh, O'Neill DMX4606E printer. That's uh, professional uh, industrial level uh, label printer. Let's get started. Okay, so to replace the print head in a Datamax O'Neill Honeywell DMX1 4606E class uh, I class Mark II printer. You need to have a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, and obviously, you need to have the brand new print head. The first step is we have to remove this panel. So, you remove the panel just like that simple and the second step is to turn off the power so I'm gonna reach out in the back and I'm going to unplug it that is very important so that you don't burn any circuit boards as you can see I unplugged it and the screen went off now we open this you open the top all the way all right and you have to remove this panel right here and you turn it off turn it counterclockwise and that's how you take it off keep in mind when you're taking it off that this little notch is on the left side because this is the guidance you see that little notch that's the guidance for the roll of paper so it doesn't go that side all right so keep that in mind now what we need to do is we need to uh, remove the film and now what we need to do is we close this and open the screw right here on the top. This is the screw right here that we have to open using, using a flathead screwdriver. After we open this, we slightly lift this and the head is ready to come out the print head is ready to come out very carefully remove the print head because you don't want to break it once you remove the print head make sure not to bang anything in this section because that's where the sensors are the print head actually touches the paper there so now once you remove this if you notice there are two cables that needs to be unplugged you have to unplug this and that to release the print head this one you press this and then slide like that and this one you don't press you just slide like that this is your old print head, and now let's get the new print head. This is our new print head. So what we do is you press this, plug this in first. Like that. And then plug this one in. Remember that there's a notch here, if you could see that notch. And that notch goes to this, so you can plug it in reversed basically both these cables are polarized so that there is no possibility to plug them plug them in in reverse now when you put this back in make sure to guide the wires inside nice and neatly underneath and then put this right here and make sure before before you lock it make sure that this screw aligns you have to kind of slide it a little bit this way or this way when you have the printer slide it a little this way or this way to make sure 
the screw hole matches so this is the sweet spot where it matches and that's where I'm going to push this down on the roller and close this okay so now it's nice and tight very nice just to be on the safe side I'm gonna make it just to be on the safe side there a little more tight there the cables are in everything looks good now what we do is we make sure that the cables that go to the print head will not be blocking the paper roll or the uh, you know transfer film uh, basically they're sh shoved deep inside and they're not like hanging down sagging down that's what you need to make sure it's not sagging down in my case it is not so I'm ready to uh, put back these plates and close it I just wanted to make sure you your cables are uh, pushed up and pushed up like inside and they're not hanging down see that and yeah that's what you want to make sure okay so when you're putting this plate back in make sure the print head is all the way up basically it's not down it's all the way up because this is the extremely critical area where you don't want it to hit anything and then what you do is again make sure that the, this little thingy notch is on this side on the left side and then you grab this knob you put it in here put it in there make sure these little this hole matches that little uh, notch and this one matches this notch basically it's seated properly and you close close this make sure you close it tight it make sure it's not loose and everything looks good now now it's the time to put back this piece right here uh, that piece goes it snaps back in it's no big deal it just snaps back in and then by the way this is exactly where the cutter goes if you want to install an optional cutter okay so after you did this the print head has been successfully installed you simply run your roll of uh, you know transfer film which I'm gonna do so let's run this roll of transfer film nice and easy Make sure it's nice and um, smooth, no wrinkles and nothing. Now we put back our paper. We close this. There's our film, there's our paper. We power it back up. Let's see. Okay. So it's powered back up. We close the top. and voila we just replaced the print head on a Honeywell uh, Datamax printer uh, it's just that simple now I'm turning it back on now I'm going to uh, run a test print and there's my test print it prints like a charm Everything seems to be good, and that's how you do it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I just want to mention one thing that in the beginning I 
I said that you also need a Phillips screwdriver but we never had to use the Phillips screwdriver because the metallic plate had a knob some of those metallic plates don't have a knob and there's a Phillips screw which requires to open uh, using a Phillips screwdriver all right please make sure to like and subscribe